Hey everybody, Julie Burke here, founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com. I'm coming to you live um, from my office. And I just got back from a family um, trip. We went to St. Louis, maybe you saw some of the pictures. And so I know I haven't been live um, in a little while. So I'm gonna give everyone just a, a quick second to jump on. And um, I was actually not sure if I was going to go live today um, because just a lot going on, um, you know, a lot going on professionally, a lot going on personally. There's my girl there, Sarah. So, <laughs> Sarah, what's up? What's up, sister? All right. So. Um, I'm going to give all of you a second to, to hop on. It's yeah. As you, you guys are coming on, um, let me know where you're tuning in from. Say hello. If you're new to who I am, drop me a one. Let me know. Um, because I'd love to send you a free gift. Um, Hey Vince, how are ya? So I've been talking a lot lately about, um, building confidence and mindset and personal development because I think it's so important in our business. Hey Ken, how are you? You guys, and feel free to share this. Like if you know, um, if you've been watching the last couple of my lives or if you're on my email list and you bought my video, um, my video I did last week about nobody will give a, give a hoot. I used a different word, but I'll keep it clean on today's live. Um, no one will care as much as you, basically, when it comes down to building your business, right? Business is business to some people. And lately, I feel like I've been a little tested in the area of trust. Um, and maybe you can relate to me. Um, maybe you're in the same position of, you know, either dealing with uh, negative mindset yourself or dealing with a trust factor maybe somebody um, you know just did something to you in regards to um, compromising your trust in them and then it turned around you turn around and then you're thinking well they hurt you so bad so who can you trust okay so it's almost having this trickle effect of um, or a waterfall effect or what, what have you when you're in that negative mindset space to then continue to think well am I having this trust factor or is this person is this other person really you know um, challenging my trust and you know it kind of like then it's like because one person did it to you you kind of like look at it as well who can I trust does that make sense you guys like so I want to talk about divorcing the negative mindset because uh, maybe you know my story, maybe you don't know my story, you guys, but recently um, I terminated my position in my last um, network marketing company. I know it's shocking. I walked away from a multiple six-figure business due to, um, due to some shady stuff from my upline. And, and honestly, to tell you the truth, um, I have to bless and release that because I feel like if you stay in that toxic environment um, mm -hmm. for too long, it can really mess with your mindset, right? And so I moved on and it actually ended up being a blessing in disguise, believe it or not. Yes, walking away <laughs> was a ble blessing in disguise. It doesn't mean it, 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 it wasn't easy to do. However, um, and I lost a lot of trust in people that I once loved. Um, so that was very painful, right? And I had to process that and, and kind of move past it. However, it led, led me because I had a trust factor with them to another situation where I was actually questioning a person's, um, their, their trust level, I guess you can say, right? So you take a step back in your life and you look at it and you say in that situation, What's happening? Like, is it now because I had this happen to me, now I'm, I'm bringing that over here? Or is it really a factor of trusting? And so I started just looking at things. Now, instead of ignoring it, now this is the important things, you guys, because I feel like once you have some sort of negative thing happen to you, 
it's really easy to stay in that that toxic environment internally. Like, am I correct, you guys? Like, once you start on this pattern of um, something goes wrong or you have a negative mindset, then it continues, like you continue to have these negative thoughts and negative mindset, and it kind of just spirals out of control. Um, so I had to take a step back, right? And learn how to disempower the thoughts that I'm having, okay? Um, and I feel that um, maybe at one point, and I don't wanna speak for you guys, so let me hear from you guys. Have you guys ever had like a negative thought? In, in regards to either building your business or just personal. Maybe it's not professional. Maybe it's just personal. You know, um, I'm not smart enough. I'm not good enough. I've never been successful. Um, I'm too old to be successful. I actually had somebody say that to me recently, which I thought was just crazy. But now I understand, like, these thoughts come from somewhere, right? Um, or maybe you've never been married. Or maybe you had a marriage and it fell apart, so you feel like you're not destined for love. Right, so the conversation that you're having with yourself, you have to be first, and you have to be very mindful of the conversation. And so your life is, a, a mentor once said, your life is a physical manifestation of thoughts in your head. And I was like, whoa, that's like really, really deep, right? Um, but. I had to start, or I had to stop focusing on what I di didn't have. And maybe you guys focus on that. Maybe you focus on what you don't have. You know, you're not, you feel like you're not smart enough. Why can't I be smart enough? You feel like you're, maybe a marriage fell apart, so you're not destined to, to find love again. Why are you focusing on that? So it's stopping the thoughts of what you don't have and start focusing more on what you want, okay? Um, and so what I realized is when you are in that negative mind space, is, is I'm, and the reason I'm talking about this with you guys today is because as a business owner, um, I run several businesses. I'm a network marketer. I'm in network marketing. Um, I now recently um, left one company after five years, and I, I made a, a, a move, okay? And I don't want to talk about that right now, but... Um, I also do online marketing. So when I'm in my office, I'm by myself a lot, right? So as an entrepreneur, as we're building our business, we might not be surrounded by all these people. Like I feel like home business has a negative and it has maybe, um, it's very positive, but it also has those negatives in regards to you're kind of in your thoughts all day long, okay? So maybe this is a little bit of my outlet right now because I've been going through, um, trying or really just focusing on where I want to take the direction of my business. So anytime you are going to up level your life or up level your business, you will always find resistance. And I know that that's what, what's happening right now. And so what I'm doing and what I encourage you to do, because this is, this made a big difference and is making a big difference. Um, as I'm going through this process and I'm having, you know, trust factors, I'm having a lot of changes in my life, um, trying to up level. So look at your own life and think about what negative thoughts are you having that you can disempower, that you could divorce, right? And let's leave it behind because really it starts with exposing the lie. Okay. So oftentimes we tell each or we tell ourselves these things and so just for example, I, I find that because I was lied to and um, treated like crap from my upline in my last company that I'm going to feel like now um, this other person is lying to me and this other person is lying to me and this other person is trying to lie. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Like that's where that trickle effect comes in because that's the one thing that was fresh in your mind and it was very painful and it was very hurtful and that's probably not it at all right? But yeah, because that happened to me, now I feel like it's happening in other areas of my life. Um, so really it's get, like taking away the energy that you're focusing on the negative st stuff and putting the energy into more positive things, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of sitting here and, and, and feeling down and depressed, 
which can very easily happen, you guys. It's saying, okay, well, let me take this energy and put it to the greater good. But yet, take a step back and really reflect on what I want and not just feel like it's something where we have to rush, 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 rush because we have to be on the ladder to success. Does that make sense? Like, so it's almost like taking a time out, reevaluating, disempowering those thoughts, um, exposing the lie, and then creating some sort of new positive material around what you want your life to be and start focusing more on what you want and the shit that you don't want, push aside, leave it alone, let it go, okay? Um, so behind the lies, that's where lies the truth. And so it is just exposing it to the universe because when you start writing it down and journaling or you put it out there or maybe talking to just a really good friend that you know you can trust and you know will like slap you back into reality, sometimes you guys, that's all you need, okay? And so for me, um, lately I've seen some people in this industry of maybe presenting themselves as this, this coach or putting themselves out there and um, wanting to create this celebrity brand. And I see what they do behind the scenes that I don't agree with. Um, and maybe they're a little bit of what I call a poser. And it frustrates me. But instead of focusing on that, Focus on what I can do to make an impact for others. Focus on me remaining true to my core and heart-centered um, and really what I set out to do and that is to create a pack, an impact for more entrepreneurs and to teach them what I've learned to help me to create four multiple six-figure businesses because again, that is why I'm here. That's why I expose myself. That's why I put myself out there is to help people and so I can't focus on the people that are out there being unauthentic. I have to focus on me and do me and be me. And within that, that's how I attract my tribe. Do you understand? So you have to expose your lies, step into your truth, step into your power, and disengage any sort of negative mindset. And kind of just allow yourself, not, a, I wouldn't even say a couple days, allow yourself a day. Uh, to step back and realize who you are, who, what you want to create, who you want to be, and, and what you want to create for your future. And don't necessarily pay attention to what everybody else is saying or what everybody else is doing. Because I find like, especially nowadays, you guys, especially with social media, that is so easy to do, right? We get into the comparison mode. And that is absolutely not what I want for any of us, all right? So I hope that that helped uh, a little bit. If you are sitting, and again, like I said, I'm probably using what kind of what's going on in my life, so I <laughs> thank you for allowing me to use that on today's live, you guys. Um, but am, I mean, am I making sense? Do any of you guys understand um, a little bit about what I'm talking about? Like, do you have those negative thoughts that sometimes just manifest and sit in your head. I guess that's the best way to say. It. Like we 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 mani we manifest um, kind of like th they're not truths. Like they're almost like lies, right? So we always want to look at the the like the worst instead of looking at what um, what we could do to make it better. Okay. And so I hope that resonates with you today. The one thing I could say is to take a break, take a second. Um, if you, you do feel like you're in that negative headspace, ask yourself why, ask yourself why journal about it, um, put it out there, expose the lie to the universe and, and figure out a way that you can disempower it and move on. Okay, you guys. So listen, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Um, I will be back, um, with more training this week. I am back in town and yes, we are away for five days, um, four days, I think with our family. So we went to St. Louis. You guys, St. Louis is so fun. I have to say that if you have kids, it's a great, it, it's like a four hour drive from Chicago, but, um, it was, it was a lot of fun. So Again, uh, thank you for allowing the, today's video and this platform to be a little bit about my story and kind of what I'm feeling today. I almost did not come on because I had 
such, I was sitting in such a negative place and I said, well, uh, that's crap. I need to bring this to, to my community here because I know I'm not the only one, um, that is looking to up level, whatever you want to call it. Looking, I'm looking to, to take that next step in my, my career, my business. And yet I'm going to face adversity. Like that's just what's going to happen. And so it's like kind of flying at me right now. But, and I know I'm not the only one. I'm sure you guys are there too, right? It's good to take a step back and to breathe and, um, always take a breath or if you can't get past it and write it all down. Yes, absolutely. Sarah, write it down for more clarity. It's, it's such a, it, it's a big thing. I actually, um, I was journaling and then I stopped for a while and, and, you know, because life gets busy, right? But honestly, it's, uh, it's so good to journal and just get all of those thoughts out there. So absolutely. I agree with you 100% Sarah. All right, guys, have a good day. I will see you all real soon. Bye for now.